Welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO. Don't forget to subscribe below. Today's topic is very, very informative. We're talking about buying at the auction. We get a lot of calls at Independence Title talking about when clients want to buy property from the auction and they need us to pull a title search for them. And I want you to explain the differences between the title search report and an owner and encumbrance or property information report. These are two very different types of searches. So first we're gonna start with the auction. When you go buy at the auction, you're typically looking at hundreds of properties that you wanna make an offer on. And then you need to find a search for it. You come to a title company, you say, hey Kevin, I need a title search on this property. The problem is, is our title search, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video, has a little bit more involved than just a standard title search. What you need is a company that provides title search data. This search used to be called an owner and encumbrance report and has recently been changed to a property information report. This is going to be a limited search of a property. It's going to give you who the owner of the property is, any encumbrances, maybe tax liens, judgments that may appear, homeowners association liens. This is done by a third party company. A lot of times you can get a bulk rate. If they're ordering 100 searches, maybe you'll get a rate of of $10 per search, $20 per search, and we have companies that we can refer you to that handles these types of searches. A lot of the well-known investors that are buying at the courthouse on a regular basis, they're there every day, and they're either searching the records themselves or they purchase software that they can search these records themselves. So that's another thing that you can do if you really wanna get into auction properties, you can start doing a search yourself, you buy the software. Now we're gonna move on to a title search report. This is an insurable product where we look back about 30 years in history or we find the last root of title to make sure that your property is free and clear, that it's insurable, meaning our underwriter is agreeing to insure the property in case anything were to happen, where the property information report is a non-insurable product the, the title search that we order is insurable. So we handle a closing, you call us, we order the search. The reason this is not good for a title search that you're looking for to buy at the auction is because it could typically take two to five days to come in depending on what county the property is located in, depending upon how far back we need to search. And you know the way it goes at the auction, first in gets the deal. So you need to be quick with getting these searches. So that's why sometimes the bulk companies that can do these searches in bulk are a better resource for you as opposed to coming to us because we want to be able to give you the service that you're paying for. So when you're ordering a title search for a closing, we'll be happy to handle it for you. If you're ordering it just to do research of a property, maybe to think about making an offer, maybe to think about a, a short sale, or maybe you're looking to buy at the auction, you're probably going to want to pull some type of property information report, which will be much quicker. So as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got a lot of added value today to understand the difference between a title search report and a property information report. There are two different types of searches. We want to make sure you get the right product for the business that you're looking for. So don't forget to subscribe below. If you don't subscribe, you'll never get notifications of all of our videos. We look forward to helping you on your next closing, and we'll see you at the closing table.